Wow, that was amazing. I actually got accosted by a homeless man. He was like, hey, can I have your scrunchie? I was like, no. I was like, okay, can I have some money? I was like, I guess so. And then he said, can I go buy your scrunchie? I was like, you know what? This isn't Claire's, all right? <laughs> we can't be doing this. Are we ready for our last comic? <laughs> Fuck yeah, I want it loud, very loud. It's our last comic. All right, let's be loud for Robert Hart. Yeah. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Come on, it's time. Bonsoir, come on, appeal to you. Assalamu alaikum. All right, all right. Kenichiwa. Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> Jumbo. <laughs> Jumbo. 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 All right. I guess the Swahili delegation didn't make it out tonight. Uh, <laughs> so much for the international part of the show. I had to know a lot of languages, folks. I had to know a lot of languages uh, for a lot of years because I worked in a hotel. Uh, the entire time I worked in that hotel, I'm proud to announce, I never lost anyone's luggage. Thank you. Thank you. They're all stacked neatly at home in the closet. The entire time I worked in that hotel, people thought I was doing menial work. But I'm proud to announce tonight, I never considered myself to be a menial laborer. I always thought of myself as a professional because I think it takes a lot of professionalism to take shit off people you don't even know. Thank y'all for coming out. But the entire time I worked in that hotel, I, you know, I always thought I would be doing me, uh, more, bad, more important work, uh, you know, uh, maybe working in a think tank. Uh, working in a think tank, writing white papers. White papers on this, white papers on that. But instead, I wound up in a septic tank. And I'm not writing anything. I'm wiping, ladies and gentlemen, if you know what I mean. I'm on hard times tonight. I, it's really sad. I, I'm on hard times. Any of y'all ever fell on hard times before? Yeah. Yeah. I was expecting a little more response than that. Uh, I've been looking at some of y'all, and I think I know hard time people when I see them. So where are y'all from? New money or old money? I'm from no money myself, <laughs> and I'm on my way to no money. I'm on hard times. Uh, nothing is going my way tonight. Since I've been on hard times, I have been asking people for help. Uh, the other day, a guy sent me to the American Red Cross. I guess he gave me the wrong directions, though, because the cross I saw was on fire. <laughs> it's really sad. It's really sad. <laughs> People have been offering me work. Uh, the other day, a guy offered me $25 to kill another man. $25. Now, I'll give you a good example of how cheap the Negro was. He then told me to buy the gun and the bullets out of the $25. <laughs> I say, Negro, you crazy, you got to pay me $26. Do I look like an idiot to you? <laughs> oh, I'm on hard times. I'm on hard time, nothing is going my way tonight. Uh, uh, let's talk about crime for a minute. Uh, I was involved, I've been involved in several crimes. Uh, have you ever heard of aggravated burglary before? Mm -hmm. Aggravated burglary, that's where you break into someone's home to steal something, and then you aggravate the situation by asking them to help you pack it out. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crime you don't want to get involved in. <laughs> What about, uh, what about dating? Thank y'all for asking. <laughs> I know some of y'all are dating. Some of y'all are on Tinder. Tinder? Some of you gay folks are on Grinder. I'm on Dumpster. Dumpster? What do people on Dumpster want? Well, they like to get high. 
uh, I was with this young lady, and uh, we were getting high, and I decided I was going to sprinkle a little embalming fluid on it <laughs> to take it on up higher. Everybody likes that, but nobody wants to help me dig for it. That's the problem right there. Let's press on, shall we? <laughs> So how's my job search going? Let's talk about that again, huh? I'm on hard times, uh, uh, my job search. Uh, I've been trying to figure out what's going on with the problem, filling out the application, uh, uh, going to an interview, all, all of that whole job search thing. There's something not happening. Something's not working right. So I think I found out what the problem is. Uh, when people call me about the interview, or coming in to have the interview, this is what they're supposed to hear. Hello, thanks for calling. Please leave your name and number and your call will be returned. Beep. But instead they hear this. Brrk, brrk. It ain't no fun if my homie can't have none. It ain't no fun. Guess who's back in the motherfucking house with a big fat dick by your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> Get on your knees and start juggling these motherfucking nuts in your mouth. So I'm sitting at home wondering, why isn't anyone calling me back? <laughs> oh, I went to a pretty good school. Any of y'all ever heard of uh, Prairie View? No. Prairie View and uh, I shouldn't have never fell on hard times. I went to a pretty good school. Uh, I went to Prairie View. A lot of people don't like to go to schools like Prairie View because they think Prairie View is an inferior school. But I'm proud to announce the entire time you know, I've worked with people from all over the country with master's degrees and PhDs alike, and those folks couldn't flip those hamburgers no faster than me. <laughs> Since I've been on hard times, I had to give up my house. Uh, they asked me to leave. Now I live in a place so small, it's like a box. But this is not just any box. This is a box that a major appliance came in. So when people say, oh, I live over there in River Oaks, or I live in Bel Air, I say, I live in Kenmore. And I'm thinking about moving to Maytag. And I used to live in Whirlpool. Those are boxes that made your appliances. Come in. So, since I've been on hard times, uh, I've been thinking about getting back into the church. Uh, the church, huh? Now, I've been thinking about getting back into church. Uh, uh, you know, I've, I've been out the church for a long time, and I've been thinking about converting to various things. Uh, there's one religion where they think that celibacy is the way to go. Celibacy is the way to go. They don't want to be around anything that's warm and soft and feminine and pretty. They don't want it nowhere around. They don't want anything between them and God. Now, the joke is going to be on them, because in the end, God will present as who? Marilyn Monroe, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all for coming out tonight. Thank you. Thank you. He's going for Robert Hart. All right, I don't believe in God, but if she's that hot, I'm down. So, all right, this has been our comedy show. You know, th have a great weekend. Do drugs with this guy, and uh, we'll see you soon. Love you all. Thank you, guys. Bye. Bye.